All right, in this lecture, we're going to discuss what might be one of the most important app packs of this course. In fact, we like to call it your greatest marketing weapon. Now, this app pack is incredibly effective and easy to implement, and I'm going to give you the four steps for it right here. Step one, give your user something to share. No matter what your app is, really take a look at it and find something for your users to share. It could be something like a high score or a photo. The absolute best thing would be original content that they made themselves, like a drawing or a meme. Now, whatever you give them, it needs to be valuable. It needs to be something that they or other people are going to care about. Step two, make sharing dead easy in your application. It really should be a no-brainer to your users how to share something, and it should involve as few clicks as possible. Be sure to give them multiple social networking options. Facebook and Twitter are a must on this. Also, go out of your way to make the experience feel fun and memorable for them. Try to really make sharing cool. Now, step three is important. Make sure you have a link with what's being shared that leads back to your app or to your company. You want people to know where the content is coming from. It's important, though, that you don't overshadow what's being shared by the user. Their post or their tweet should always be first and foremost above uh, it, should all, it should always be first and foremost about the content, not you. So make sure that credit goes back to your app and don't hijack the experience. This is important. And finally, step four, reward the user for sharing. Always provide some sort of reward or gratification when a user shares. You could give them something free, or if your app is a little so, more social network oriented, inform them of a like or comment on what they shared. Whatever you do, be creative and make sure that sharing creates value for the user in some way. And there you have it. This simple and effective little hack can be your most powerful marketing weapon in your app if you do it right. Sharing and social media are everything these days. It is the mo it's the most effective kind of marketing and it's free for you. Basically, you want this to happen. Somebody downloads your app, they create something that they value and they care about. Something that is important to them or that will give them social validation from their peers. Then they share what they've made or earned with a link back to your app. Remember, it still needs to be about the content, though. Their post or their tweet shows up in their feed where their friends and family can see it. Their friends and family most likely share some of the same interests or values as them, so hopefully their post is inter interesting to them, too. They view the post and are impressed. They also see your link back to the app, and they click on it, and the friends get the app. Think of the viral YouTube videos out there and all the millions of views they've had. Now, the richest marketing in, firm in the world can't just go, go and make something go viral with their money. Making something go viral is a huge subject, and entire books have been written on it. It's really kind of one of those things that everyone under, understands, but nobody can just make happen. That being said, there are certain things you can do to impro improve the odds of something going viral. Now, if you follow these four steps I've told you, and if you do them right, you'll see a marked increase in your downloads and overall knowledge of your brand will spread. You may or may not go viral, but either way, you'll be closer to reaching the top nirvana of app marketing, and that is a user base that shares content from your app often. Always, always try to build up a user base that consistently shares content from your app, and I promise you, success is only a matter of time. Creating a true social network is beyond the scope of this lecture. The four steps that I've given you here, they're going to go a long way in helping you to increase exposure and downloads for your app, though. That being said, there's some additional tips and things you can do while following the next the uh, four steps. Go ahead and ask yourself these questions. Take some time and be honest and really brainstorm. Finding great answers to each of these ensures that this app pack is going to work best for you. What can you share in your app? What do you have to offer to your users? Why? Why is what you're sharing with your users important? What is what is it you're allowing your users to share that is worth being shared? How will you reward users when they share? Why would they want to share? Why would they want their friends to share? How can you make them want their friends to share the posted content? How can you motivate them to keep on sharing consistently? Now make the process of sharing as fun and original as you can. One of the absolute best examples I've seen comes from this, uh, this Tasachi Sketches app here. Now, if you look here, by swiping up and down, the user can place their drawing into an envelope. And on the right hand, they have different social media channels, which are made to look like stamps there. Now, the user can drag each stamp onto the envelope, and when they go ahead and send their letter, it posts on each of the social networks that they choose. It's, this is just a screenshot, but you'd have to check it out for yourself. The whole experience, it's incredibly intuitive, and it feels really fun. 
Now they could have just shown you know, they could have just shown a popover with a UI activity sheet to the user and done things that way, but instead they took the simple act of sharing and they made it into a truly memorable experience. Now this is the level of sharing you should strive for. Make sharing in your app original and show them something that they've never seen before. Give your user control. Be as transparent as possible. If you need to access sensitive information, like stuff on their Facebook or Twitter profiles, be sure that you give them a clear and good reason for doing so. They should be in charge at all times. You should never post their social networks without their explicit permission. Basically, do nothing that makes them feel like they were tricked in any way. If you act sneaky, you might be able to fool people into posting once, but it will come back to bite you in the end. Don't spam. Dozens of posts about nothing or trying to market yourself, it's going to undermine everything. Remember, you want these posts to be organic, and you want them to be posts that friends and family are going to interact with. Posting the same thing over and over doesn't work, and it's just going to let people onto what you're doing. And always, always respect your user's privacy. Remember that these are people too. Now, this is an extremely powerful hack. It's easy to do, but it's hard to master. So make sure that you're measuring and collecting the right data that you can evaluate to always be constantly using to improve and tweak things. Your app doesn't need to be a social network, but go ahead and treat it like one. Get very familiar with what makes people share, the whole theory behind social networking and viral marketing. Remember that knowledge is power in this area. And they do say that power corrupts, but keep, in, keep that in mind and just don't be evil. Respect and appreciate your users and just don't abuse that trust. As always, if you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Be sure to give us a shout out in the comments section of this lecture. Thanks again.